Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a first impressions video for you guys on a lipstick. I've never done a first impressions on a lipstick before, but this is brand new and I don't even think it's released to the general world yet. The physical release date on their online store will be in January and I guess I should tell you guys what the lipstick is. It's the Sugar Pill Pretty Poison Lipstick. Like seriously, even the box is the most adorable thing. I'll do a close up so you guys can see. But seriously, this lipstick is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Look how cute it is like if this isn't the cutest lipstick in the world then I do not know what is like it's just a little pill like it's literally a little baby pill the brand is called sugar pill and it's a little pill this is what the lipstick looks like it's in the shade nurse but I'm just gonna read you what it says on the back of the box so it says your antidote to ordinary the dreamiest and creamiest long-wearing Hyperpigmented lipstick with single stroke coverage. It's vegan and cruelty free, so that's amazing. And um, there is four grams of product in the tube. So after I swatch it on my lips, I'll show you guys kind of comparing it against other red lipsticks that I have in my collection. Okay, so this is a lipstick here. I seriously can't get over it. It is a matte finish, and I do love matte red lipsticks. Yeah, I'm not going to line my lips or anything like that just because I want you guys to see the true color of it. I have wiped off basically all of that lip balm that was on my lips. So I guess let's just apply it. It is definitely a little bit more dry, um, obviously because it's a matte, but it's definitely not uncomfortable. Oh my goodness, it smells. It smells so good. It smells so sweet and like, it smells like Fanta. So the application of this lipstick was quite nice. Um, it definitely wasn't the most creamy lipstick in the world, but for a matte, it was relatively creamy. Um, I really, really love the shade. It's a very, very gorgeous shade. Um, yeah, I can't fault this lipstick. The only thing that I'd say is that I think I applied it a little bit sloppily, and if I wasn't filming a first impressions, I would be using a lip liner with that. So next time, I'll be definitely using a lip liner, um, purely for the fact that I'm so clumsy when it comes to bright lips. I always get it outside my lip line. Nothing to do with the lipstick at all, but bear in mind, I would be wearing a lip liner um, if I wasn't filming this video, but I didn't want to alter the color in any way. It did apply very, very nicely. I'm very, very happy with it. I'll definitely continue to use it. Um, yeah, so I guess what I'll do now is I'll swatch it on my arm and I'll show you comparisons to other red lipsticks that I've just pulled out of my collection just so you guys can see what the tone of it really is like compared to other colors that you may possibly have in your collection. Um, and then I might come back in a little while and show you what it looks like on my lips um, throughout the day, I guess. It's quite late already. It's already 2.40 or almost 240 um, but I'll come back in maybe like an hour and show you guys the update on the lips so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna swatch it on my arm and then I'm gonna swatch a few other ones so this is the sugar pill lipstick and I'm gonna swatch it right at the very top so as you can see one swipe it is still very very pigmented but I am gonna go over it twice just a side note I can't get over how comfortable it feels on the lips like it's a matte lipstick, but it's definitely very, very comfortable and not drying at all. So I love that. So the first one that I'm going to swatch in comparison to the um, Sugar Pill lipstick is the Smashbox lipstick. So this one is in the shade Bing and it just looks like this. It's a part of the Super Legendary line. So that one there is Bing by Smashbox, just for comparison. The next one that I'm going to swatch is going to be Revlon Matte Lipstick in the shade 06 Really Red. Now I'm going to go in with Australis Velour Lip in the shade NYC. This one is a matte li liquid matte lipstick, so obviously it's going to be a different texture to the others, but just for shade comparison. I'm now going to use Colourpop Bossy. That's actually very, very similar to... Um, Sugar Pill Nurse. I'm now going to compare it to MAC Ruby Woo, which is also a matte finish. So as you can see, on one swipe, MAC Ruby Woo is very, very um, dry feeling. My MAC Ruby Woo is not old at all. It's just a very, very dry formula. So that's two swipes of MAC Ruby Woo. I'm going to do three just so it kind of looks vibrant. Now I'm also going to compare it to MAC Russian Red which is my favorite red from MAC. So 
that's one swipe of MAC Russian Red. And that's two swipes and that is actually very very similar in tone to nurse you might not be able to tell on camera but in real life they are very very similar they are definitely not identical but they are very similar I'm now going to compare it to Milani high voltage lipstick this is definitely a more creamier lipstick it's definitely not a matte that's that one there and lucky last I'm going to compare it to Mac red so I hope that these comparisons helped you guys. I will stick a picture over here just so you can see all of them on my arm. And hopefully you'll be able to kind of see um, which colors you own compared to Nurse and maybe you'll want it also. Um, that's as far as the comparisons go, I guess, in terms of swatching them. Um, what I might do now is I might go and come back. So I guess I'll come back and see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so I'm back with my update. So it's currently 4.27. Um, I've had this lipstick on for I think an hour or two now. I can't really remember, probably about an hour or a little bit more. I honestly can't remember. But I'm quite impressed with how the lipstick performed. I do think it's about time where I would personally reapply my lipstick for the pure fact that the colour has definitely faded is in a lot and is a lot less vibrant than what it was before. And secondly, because my lips are starting to feel slightly dry, not because the lipstick is drying, but just because there isn't really that much product on my lips anymore. And this was relatively moisturizing while it's on your lips. Um, I did think that I forgot to mention that. So I would personally be reapplying right about now. I do like how this lipstick, it didn't fade awkwardly, it faded very, very seamlessly and all kind of together. It didn't fade like randomly in certain bits and like not in other bits because sometimes with lipsticks they can fade along the inside of your mouth um, before they'll fade on the outside of your mouth. This lipstick didn't do that and that is a very, very important credential for me with lipsticks. I don't want it randomly fading off in awkward, like awkwardly. So I think this lipstick has definitely passed the test for me. It's lasted as long as my expectations have for a lipstick or a matte lipstick. It by no means claims to be a long lasting lipstick. Yes, it claims to be a long wearing lipstick and I do feel like I did get long wear out of it for a normal standard lipstick and what it would have done. Yeah, I don't really think there's anything else for me to say. I like how it felt on the lips. It faded very nicely and it was quite moisturizing while it was on the lips. Um, it definitely wasn't a drying matte. It was definitely a more creamier matte than, say, MAC Ruby would. I hope that all made sense and I hope you guys enjoyed. And can we seriously just take another minute to just appreciate how cute this lipstick is? <sighs> Anyway, um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I upload videos every single week. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.